guys and welcome back to my channel today I have my February faves for you um, I was gonna say faves and fails but I really don't think I have anything that's like big time faily for me so. It. so let's get through this I have a ton you guys a ton of faves because I haven't done a favorite and fails video in forever and there is some new stuff and some uh, rediscovered items. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm loving for, or I loved for the month of February, then just keep watching. So I'm first going to start off with something that I'm currently burning, well not at this very moment, but currently um, burning in my kitchen slash dining room area and it's a candle from Bath and Body Works Home and this candle is cayenne caramel and I say caramel you could say caramel if you want but I say caramel you guys holy cow this is the most amazing smelling candle ever if you're ever near a Bath and Body Works go stick your nose in this candle it smells amazing and the thing that's awesome about this is that not only does it smell amazing, but it has the biggest, best throw that I think I've ever had in a candle. I will burn this in just like the first 10 minutes, 20 minutes. My entire house smells like this. And it's it's interesting. It's cayenne caramel. So the it says, some like it hotter with a blend of cayenne peppers, rich salted caramel, and a touch of brown sugar. If you don't like sweet candles, then you might not like this, but it's just the perfect amount of sweet and that, like, little spiciness of the cayenne just cut the sweet a little bit, but it's, oh my gosh, this smells so amazing, you guys. And in the same line of scents, the thing that I'm loving for the, or loved for the month of February, will be loving until it's gone, is from Giorgio Armani, and this is the Perfume a C S I. I say C's, some people say Psy, I don't know. Um, this is in the rollerball form. I love rollerballs. I always purchase rollerballs because I feel like I will use perfume more often if I'm able to take it with me when I'm on the run. And you guys, this smells... This is something that I didn't think I would like because I'm really into like the Escada fruity um, sweet smells, but this just has enough musk. It's just, oh, it's so... You guys, I purchased that at Ulta, so I'm sure they have it at Sephora, wherever they sell um, Giorgio Armani scents. The next product that I've discovered in February and am loving and going to continue to love is the Photo Finish Primer Water from Smashbox. Now, this I thought, mm, you know, it was a little on the fence about it and thought, you know, let me just give it a try. What this is, is um, it's silicone free, alcohol free, oil free, and it says the water's infused with electrolytes to prime by misting or to create a sheer canvas makeup. It hydrates skin for hours, revitalizes complexion to boost radiance, and, and it just, well, number one, it smells delicious. It smells almost like lemon, like lemon water. Um, smells really good and it just feels so cooling and hydrating on your skin and I love to use this after I've done my makeup already um, to use it as a setting spray I don't know how well it is for setting my makeup but um because I'll kind of just go over it again with an Urban Decay spray if I really need my makeup to stay all day long like hours and hours and hours but this uh, the way it feels it makes my skin feel so hydrated it feels like cooling. It just, ugh, oh, and let's spray this on. Oh, and the smell, you guys, is so refreshing. Not perfumey, like it's like I said, it smells like lemon water. Oh, let's keep on the same note as um, makeup, and I am going to tell you that I absolutely love this pure um, Maybelline Dream Pure BB. This is an 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Clearing Perfector. This is the one that has 2% salicylic acid on it. So if you are um, acne prone, if you have oily skin, this might be really good for you. If you have extremely sensitive skin or um, skin that doesn't do well with any kind of acne treatments, if you don't have acne, um, don't use this. I don't know if it might have some sort of reaction. I don't know. Um, 
this one is actually um, pretty much empty. I think I used the rest of it today, but um, I do. I just purchased a backup, so I'm very happy about that. So the reason why I absolutely love this is because on a daily basis and my daily grind, I don't wear like foundation or sometimes concealer or powder, but I will wear a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. It just really evens out my skin, so you'll see. Um, less of the imperfections and redness and it does have a sheer to light coverage you can actually build it up to a light coverage so I really do like this I like the fact that it does have an acne treatment it says that it um, it has eight benefits it clears acne conceals imperfections minimizes your look of pores reduces appearance of redness adjusts to skin tone hydrates and smooths, and enhances um, and clarifies and it also has zero percent oils um, and a lightweight feel. I believe I agree with that except the hydrating and smooths I don't feel like it really hydrates so much, but it doesn't make me greasy or oily and I do like this It has really good staying power and it looks amazing. the next thing that I have been loving for the month of February loving 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 has been my NARS all day luminous Weightless Foundation. I had to read the back just so I was saying it correctly. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is the newest foundation um, from NARS. And um, I did purchase this around mid-January, so I've been trying it out. Heard some um, mixed reviews on this foundation, and I have to say the reason why I think the reviews are a little mixed is because people are not applying it correctly. And from when I was at the NARS on Melrose and learning about this foundation when it very first came out is that you just need one pump for your entire face. Pump it into the palm of your hand or the top of your hand, but you want to warm it up in the palm of your hand. And then you'll take it with your fingers and you work it into your skin one section at a time with your fingers. I think what people are doing is using a sponge or a flat top buki or something else other than their fingers to apply this and this foundation is made to be used with your fingers to put it on your skin with your fingers and um, one pump only for the entire face to cover it up this is not cheap but it's if you use it correctly it is freaking amazing uh, amazing and I am in a medium one Punjab. from what I've heard some of the colors can be off so you want to get color matched and even if you've had NARS foundation before some of the colors don't translate from the different foundations to these the um, the all day luminous this next product is not a new product I'm sure everybody owns it but it is a rediscover for me because I have been using it a lot for the month of February and this is the Milani these are the Baked Powder Blushes. This one is an 05 Luminoso, and if I can open it, that's what this looks like. It's such a gorgeous blush. This is such a... It almost feels like it's so universal that anybody can use it, and it's so soft, beautiful, so blendable. It has a tiny bit of a, like, almost like a sheen to it, but not like glitters or anything. It just makes such a beautiful radiant flush on your cheeks. And I'm actually wearing it right now. It's really hard to tell because this lighting right now is like not good. But it's so gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. So I have been, I pulled this out of my drawer. And I actually have just kept it right here on my vanity and been using it. And I can't. It's so beautiful. Something that I actually discovered in February and adore it is from Sephora. It's a Sephora brand. And it's the Sephora Micro Smooth. Um, baked Illuminizer, and this one is in the color 01 Stardust, and let me show you what it looks like. So it is a yellow base sort of, um, almost like sunshine, a yellow based highlight, and I'll just stick it right there. It is a yellow based gold, and look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, look, I actually have it on right now as a highlight. And this is amazing. And the reason why is because it's super affordable. I think it was like around $14 or so. But I'll leave all the links to products down below. Today. And so they have um, this sort of gold yellow color. And then they have like a pinky tone one. So 
oh, gorgeous. And for the price, amazing. Next guys. product that I have been loving for the month of February is my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Oh, I need to tell you guys, I use this like almost every day because I love to contour. Even just the slightest little bit of contour, I'm just all about it. Love this. These are so blendable, so super soft, so super awesome. It's, I mean, these are just perfect matte contour powders. Perfect. They're taupey, they're gorgeous. The highlights are just amazing tone like, and they work so well. I actually did film a highlight contour powder, my highlight and contour routine for you guys, but I wasn't too happy with the footage, so I'm going to do redo that for you because I want it to be a better quality. The next item that I have been loving was, has to do with the shade and light contour palette because it is the shade and light contour blood, uh, brush. Um, so I'll see one side, it actually says shade and one side says light. And I'm going to tell you guys that the reason why I purchased this was for the case. That was it. I was hoping that the brush would be awesome, but I wasn't like it wasn't really the brush so much as it was the case, I have to admit. I mean, it looks like a little coffin. And I love it. I love so once I did bust out the brush and used it with the Shade and Light Contour Palette, you guys, the brush is amazing. And it makes me so happy that I spent 30 bucks on a brush and it doesn't suck. Because I was... I would have probably returned okay, it. Okay, so speaking of brushes, there are two brushes that I wanted to specifically talk about that have stood out for me in um, February. I did do an entire brush video on these new brushes from City Color Cosmetics. And City Color actually did just come out with a double-sided contour brush. Um, I think I'm going to purchase that to compare it to the Kat Von D one, so stay tuned for that. But the City Color Cosmetics um, brush set that I did talk about in the other video. It is still available and it is still on sale. So I'll leave that down below if you're interested. Gorgeous brushes. I can't stop using them. They are great quality. But I specifically wanted to talk about these two brushes. The first one is the CC L01 and it's the extra super teeny tiny little brush. And the second one that I wanted to talk about was the CCE03. And it is the one that is the flat top, small flat top stipple brush, teeny eye stipple brush. So these two brushes specifically stood out to me because they are amazing for concealing uh, your pimples or as, you know, a blemish on your face. And what I do is I'll take the smaller brush and I will dot on the concealer on that specific blemish or imperfection. Um, dot on the concealer and then I will take the stipple brush right here and I just pounce it right on there just right on your blemish and then just a little bit around the area and it is completely covered airbrushed gone like hidden amazing like amazing that much work just dot and dab like I cannot believe it I think just these two brushes are awesome. I know they're supposed to be eye brushes, I think, but I love them for that specific, specific reason. Okay, we're almost to the end, you guys, but I do have a couple more products that I am favoriting for the month of February. The first one is um, a lip product, and it is what I currently have on my lips right now. I did mix this with a lip liner, and I'll talk to you guys about that, but it is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I do post these pictures of stuff on my Instagram, so please do follow me there if you want to see additional photos and other items of stuff in my life. Um, this particular one is one of my favorites for the this month that I've been loving, and this one is the nude, uh, nudish color one, and it's called Celebrity Skin. And let me show you a little swatchy swatch, even though I do have it on my lips at the current moment. And these are the liquid velour or velour liquid lipsticks. So what they do is they go on your lips and they set to a completely matte 
dry finish that they don't transfer um they are not very drying like and so i do they, have some dry lips i do have some lines and stuff in my lips so what i like to do is use a very waxy uh chapstick like the eos um lip chapsticks like the ball ones and those are very waxy they work really well as a primer for your lips but this is such a pretty color I did use it today with, um, I lined my lips with the NYX liner in mauve. And I'll show you what it looks. This is the lip liner that I used it with. And um, it's just mauve, 831 mauve. And yeah. So that's what I did and I applied this with it and it made this lip combo. Hey guys, this is the last thing of my favorites for February and it is a lip combo. And I have worn this several times over the month of February, and I absolutely love this combo, and I'm going to share it with you. The first thing is this lip liner, and this is the color Ro Rouge. I keep saying Rogue. I did that in my swatch video of these waterproof lip liners from BH Cosmetics. I kept saying Rogue. It's Rouge. Rouge. And it's this color right here. And then what I'll do is I will top the Rouge Lip Liner from BH Cosmetics with Milani's Sangria. And this is what Sangria looks like. And I will show you that. It kind of brings a little berry to the party. And then to top that all off, I will put the Lip Gloss Seduction from um, Gerard Cosmetics. It's the one that has those little lights right here. Um, right on top of that whole lip combo and that's what that swatch looks like right there and I absolutely love that lip combo I'm gonna go put this on for you guys right now and show you what it looks like so hold on. and that's the lip combo you guys that I have been loving it's beautiful sort of vampy looking um, gorgeous these are the three products. And um, all right, guys, that was all of the products that I have in my February phase. Thank you for sticking through this video. I know it's a long one. So I really appreciate and enjoy every one of you. If you have questions on any of those products, let me know. Or if you want me to do, like, something more of an explanation of those products, let me know also. Um, I love each and every one of you. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And, you. and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. so much is before I do my makeup I was just spray on my face and not while I'm talking because I just got it in my mouth but you spray it shit shit God damn okay it's weird right but St. Patrick's Day is my favorite holiday I don't know um could be because I am half Irish right look at this brush holder he's also one of my faves for February you guys isn't he awesome it's a cup. It actually is a cup. So, look at, he even has little stitches in the back. This is my friend Zombie. I need to name him. What should I name him? Leave a comment down below of what I should name him. I mean, he's pretty badass, you guys.